Fearless Film Masters, on this episode, we're going to be creating this. Now, this is a basic video template. Down below in the description of this video is a download link, so you can download this train clip. I captured it with my Phantom 4 Pro Odyssean, uh, flying over a train, not over it, but to the side of it, and had a nice visual as a train is passing. But we want to add emphasis and make a video title. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So first of all, let's import our project. Here is our video that is in the download section. Just drop it down onto our timeline and let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got a nice pan shot flying over the river with a train going over a bridge heading towards a, another bridge or a tunnel. Now we want to emphasize this and make it more of a title sequence, maybe for a documentary um, or for a DVD or a video. So let's do that. What I want to do first of all is just see where the train starts to come in, maybe around here. I'm going to select B on my keyboard, which will trim the uh, render area. So from here will be our workspace forward. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate control D to duplicate that video file. I'm going to hide by selecting the uh, eye picker and uh, hide the top video. Let's go down to the bottom video now and I'm going to come up to effects and I'm going to select blur and sharpen and select Gaussian blur. Now I'm going to select a blur range that I'm happy with. So I'm going to push it right out to say about 24. So once I've done that, I'm going to turn my top layer back on again, and I'm going to select away from the video so nothing in our timeline is selected. And we're going to come up here and select an eclipse tool, which will actually make a shape because we haven't got anything selected. I'm going to hold the shift button down on my keyboard, and I'm going to drag a circle. And up here, let's uh, adjust the stroke size to say 15. And I'm going to leave the fill as black. I'm going to use this as a mask. So I'm going to select the selection tool so I can move it around and find a position that I'm happy with. Holding the shift button down on my keyboard allows me to snap to center. Now, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to come down and make some changes. So first of all, let's come down to our train top layer and select this part here and select alpha matte shape one. Now, once we've done and changed alpha here, alpha matte shape one, you'll notice one thing is our shape is now being used as a mask. However, it has turned it off. So I'm going to reselect it so you can see it. So here we've got the white and the black back again. And now all I need to do is come up to the mode on the shape and select add. Now, once I've done that, what it does show is it shows that we've got our nice image in the center. And we've also got our image below, which has been converted into a Gaussian blur because we've actually changed that. So once we've done that, let's press our hard enter on the keyboard and just play so we can see what we've actually created. So this is a nice way of emphasizing what we want the viewer to see in our title. So let's go back. Now all we need to do is add some text. Let's go up here and select the text tool. I'm just going to uh, put a little box in there and uh, just write trains. So it's going to be a trains documentary. You can select all the text and change it up here to whatever font that you want to use. We might use uh, Jill Sands Ultra Bold. Um, let's adjust the size of our text. Select the uh, selection tool. Let's bring it back down to where we want it to sit. And if I want, I can also put a, uh, a black box around the actual text so it stands out a little bit more. And we can adjust, obviously, the thickness of it. So this is what we've got at the moment. This is a nice and simple way of just creating a nice video introduction to a DVD, perhaps. And that is how we create a very simple introduction that you can use for documentaries or any other type of video that you want to do in Adobe's After Effects CC. Now, if you want to become a Film Master Subby, it's pretty simple. You can subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.